welcome to Dr. Manoj. Quick introduction to energy resources, which forms part of Unit 3 Natural Resources in your Environmental Science and Engineering course. As always, you must refer to one of the recommended textbooks for a more complete study. Your syllabus, GE 6153, for EVS, lists that you learn the following for energy resources. Let us begin. The story of how energy came about is a very interesting one. We all know that it is the sun's energy which principally gets converted to energy by all the plants and is locked up by them to be consumed by the animals and so on until humans came along. But there was only so much that humans could do. Their power was limited with the energy they could obtain from what was already available in nature. This got humans thinking and led to the discovery of fire, the wheel and the power of wind. With these discoveries and inventions, humans could now think of doing stuff which required more energy and thus began the use of the first energy resources from the planet. One of the most important of which was the discovery of coal and oil which we are going to see next. The use of coal and oil changed the game forever. This led to the discovery of the steam engine, the motor car, the steamer ships, and locomotives and machinery. This meant humans could do more work from the power that these new energy sources offered, making human civilization rapidly advance and form a separate, unique and dominant existence in this planet. All of these started up the industrial revolution and has led to the modern world as we know it today. The demand for energy from energy resources has been steadily growing over the years. The major drawers for energy are domestic, agricultural practices and most of all for the industry. All of these demands have placed a heavy toll on the available energy resources that have been used so far which mainly included coal and oil. Let's look at some of the energy resources that we do have now at our disposal. So on the one hand we have our conventional energy resources which mainly include fossil fuels that include coal and crude oil from which we get our fossil fuel for our internal combustion engines and machinery and more recently we have nuclear energy. On the other hand we have unconventional or alternate energy resources which are rapidly developing. They include wind, solar, hydroelectricity and bioenergy. We shall see each of these in detail in the next series of lectures. So that sums up the lecture where you were introduced to the basic concepts of energy resources. Thank you and bye bye.